All right. How we feeling about Tom McDonald? How do we feel about the last track that we did with Draws? How do we feel about what you think is coming up? I'm kind of... I think that he's talented. His girlfriend is obviously a above average video director, especially considering that she's doing it all by herself. Like the cinematography, the lighting, the editing, all of it is fire. But I'm a snowflake according to Tom's fucking uh, demographic because I don't like his pandering. I just don't like his political songs because they're so shallow. But that also kind of leaves me excited because we our newest song is called Brainwashed. Oh, I want it to be good. I always want it to be good. We're going to react screen. Y'all ready? We got brainwashed. We clearly got him looking at a TV screen. We clearly got him engaging in, in static content because all content is static because it's all washing your brain. We're all snowflakes. No one puts out solid content and no one talks about the brainwashing except Tom McDonald. Uh, let's see what we got, ladies and gentlemen. Half the country fell asleep, but they scream woke. We only dedicate one day to remember our fallen soldiers. If you come out the closet as Caitlyn Jenner, you're a hero and you get a whole pride month. I almost cussed right there. F, man. F to replace the cuss word and F in the chat for us. Gosh darn it, man. Gosh darn it. I feel like people, anybody that has any kind of backlash or any kind of like opposing stance on having an entire month dedicated to a certain group, I feel like they don't understand why. They don't understand why those individual groups have a month de dedicated to them. So let me go ahead and uh, explain it to y'all and to the people that might be watching this video. For anybody that opposes Pride Month or is like, why don't we get a whole month? Because you had your whole entire fucking life. Since 1776, every day has been dedicated to the non-oppressed. You're, you're talking to someone who is center right leaning. So I am more conservative than I am liberal, but I also have common sense. People wonder why we have Black History Month. Well, it doesn't help we enslave those motherfuckers for 400 years. Maybe they deserve a month to themselves, considering that we don't talk about their entire culture in any class, in any history class. We brush over it just like I think the Germans probably brush over the whole Holocaust whenever they're talking about, whenever they're talking about German history. It's like German history, German history, two pages of Holocaust. Okay, German history, that, that's us with slavery. And then on top of that, Pride Month exists because for so long, the gay culture or being gay, not even just in the United States, in the world. It's actually worse in the world, which is surprising. But we're like, hey, how about we give them a month so that way we can say we recognize you. We're sorry for the shit that we've been through. We're trying to progress and change. Your sexual orientation has no change on my life, on my world. So here's a month to say we're sorry. And then here comes fucking Tom McDonald and his fan base to be like, nah, fuck that. We need a white month. White people have had 245 years. So maybe I should just shut the fuck up. American white guys. I'm white and I'm here to save the day. And then saying we only get a day to remember the fallen soldiers. Like I get the point that he's saying, but the way that he's saying it is like, let me say the most right shit possible so that way we can we can grab the demographic that's watching this video and then let's say the most left outlandish shit possible and let's just merge those two together like a shitty peanut butter and jelly november is for veterans we have veterans day we have memorial day we have the fourth of july we have all kinds of shit oh my god we don't need to defund police, need to defund the media who lies through their teeth. The only wars to get fought are with the countries who have natural resources they want. But if a white man acts too white, white he's white boy, trash, he's a white racist, he's boy, a bigot, he's a white monster. Noise. Let the government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. I mean, he is touching on topics that I feel like too. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I get that. I get what he's saying in some of these. I already forgot what he said because I'm brainwashed already. We don't need the defund police. I do agree with that. I do give him that, that the media does want us polarized. I don't know if they want us polarized. It's kind of the internet that we created. Look at you, you unstoppable, watchable. Your time is now, your insides out. 
Honey, how you grew. But I do agree with that. Not every liberal is dumb. Not every liberal is Antifa and not everybody on the right's a Nazi. So he is right about that. And that's why he's right down the center, guys. Making sure the truth is heard. They can't stop us. Cause we're the oh my god, this fucking hook. Uh it's ironic that he talks about like gun control and other songs and then he's pro gun and then he's against guns and then all of a sudden he's saying that we'll go against the fucking government. With what guns do you think we're going against the government with? You need those firearms if you're trying to take on the most powerful government in the world. But nope, we won't have them. We're going to be living like Ivy in fucking Australia going to stab our senators and shit. They can't stop us cuz we're ready to fight the whole world's brain Guys, the whole world's brainwashed except for Tom McDonald and his fans. Y'all guys are all brain. How did monkeys become people and people turned into sheep? They put fluoride in the water that's keeping us all asleep. <laughs> how did monkeys become people and people into sheep? I am impressed at how quick he can touch on two subject matters that uh, I'm sure his fan base e agrees with. Right out the gate, he's going to touch to the people who are very religious and say that evolution doesn't exist. People have only existed for 2,000 years. 144,000 people are getting into heaven only. That's the max. The fire department won't allow any more people than that, according to the Bible. So he touches on really quickly that evolution doesn't exist. And then within the same bar talks about how everybody's sheep now. That's mad impressive. That's a bar. Areas who said there's a max in heaven, the ones that go knocking on your door and shit. Jehovah Witness. Jehovah Witness say that there's only 144,000 people that are allowed in heaven. I don't know why. I just remember getting lectured uh, by a Jehovah Witness whenever I was at Bank of America and I was trying to sell him a credit card. I was like, it's October. Y'all guys planning on shopping for Christmas? You know, you can get 13 months, no interest, 15 months, no interest. Wrong thing to say to a Jehovah Witness. He was automatically like, we don't believe in celebrating anything. I was smiling gave a half-assed laugh but in my mind i was like here we fucking go it's 12 15 my lunch is supposed to be at 12 30 and i'm gonna be sitting at this bit with this bitch for at least another hour i was like bro i'm just trying to hit my credit card quota so can we not do this right now <laughs> they put fluoride in the water that's keeping us all asleep claim they want what's best for us i find it hard to believe because they've been selling fluoride us cigarettes water? since we was 18 fake Fluoride in water. First off, in Texas, cigarettes are no longer legal until you're 21. Fluoride in water. Another another hot button topic. Big tech don't need a microchip to hack in your life because the phone inside your pocket is a tracking device. And I don't know what I'm going Oh my God. See, like I agree with that. But the people that don't believe in vaccines are the ones that are like, hey, they got microchips that they're injecting into us. I think the I think the COVID vaccine is is what's the 5G is what brought COVID. So I don't care about fluoride. All I care is about my fucking iPhone giving me coronavirus. And I don't know what I'm a sick of. Rappers or Joe Biden looking like he ate 100 <laughs> Xanax for dinner. Censor Not rappers or Joe Biden. Oh, loud. Put it in reverse, Ted. Guys, it's the rappers. Blame the rappers. Remember that song? President and kicking him off Twitter is a bigger threat to freedom than foreign ballistic missiles. You don't trust the police or the government, but you want... No one's gonna fucking missile us. The last time they fucked with the United States on our own territory, besides 9-11, like an actual military attack on the United States was Pearl Harbor, and then we blew two of their fucking cities to smithereens. But I will say, whether you believe he should have been president or not, whether you believed in his policy or not, I feel like your average person with common sense is going to understand that wasn't exactly a great representation. Not, not like his policy-wise. To be honest, the United States was doing pretty solid. <laughs> but, like, the way that he presented himself, his brand, the way that he spoke on the mic with not a whole lot of eloquence, it's kind of cringe. I get freedom of expression, but also Twitter is a private company or an IPO that's for profit. So technically they can kick anybody off at any time. It just happened to be our president, <laughs> the president of the United States. Our defense is spending monumental in comparison to any other country. I already knew that. We're all in the gym together, right? Everybody is on steroids at this, at this fake gym that all the countries are in. And we're all trying to show off for each other like, bitch, I could fight you right now. What's up? But instead of saying it like that, we're all on the bench press, like showing each other how strong we are. And here comes the United States with the fucking pole bending because of how many 45 pound plates we have on it. And the whole world is looking like, all right, guy, you're going a little overboard. We get it. 
we get it. But And we're like, are you fucking sure you get it? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and keep repping it out. That's us. That's our defense spending. Kitty stream? Been looking like he ate 100 Xanax for dinner. From the foreign ballistic missiles. You don't trust the police or the convinces white people that they're favored by their skin and black people getting angry because they're told they're treated different. White boy. What? The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they can't stop us. All right, clearly we're skipping the hook. Why train the people only to consume step two infiltrate adults with the news separate the right from the left step five separate the white from the black fabricate a problem made a lie step eight nine when people start to fight and divide take control this is called situational design all right so that bridge right there i fucked with that bridge i fucked with the whole delivery that shit was actually kind of fire i'm not gonna lie one to ten how we feeling about that Two, four, three, four, five, three, two, one, three, five. I would say like a four, four and a half. The hook is always going to bring it down for me. I'm not a fan of this type of uh, song from Tom McDonald, but it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't good. All right, let's take a gander at these comments. He doesn't know this, but he makes everyone's Friday better. <laughs> Look at the second one. Taking shots at Sleepy Joe, Tom has attained sainthood. Tom McDonald's a saint, guys. Nails it again. The more truth he speaks, the higher he's going to go. We need him to reach our brainwashed youth. Stay blessed and keep pumping hits like this out. Song gave me literal chills. Tom is so gifted when speaking the words we all feel. Anyone who loves this country. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> There's gay people that love this country. I don't know if y'all know that. There's black people who love this country. I don't know if y'all know that. And want to scream from the rooftops like this is Rent on Broadway. Great job once again, Tom and Nova. Thank you for being 100% genuine and speaking your truth. So he's speaking his truth, not speaking the words we all feel. Those are two different statements. Right here. This is the main comment that I want everybody to see. I never liked rap. I don't even need to read the rest of this because it started with this. However, I'm proud to blast Tom's message everywhere I roll. Thank you, Tom McDonald. May everyone hear and understand your message. Hey, I never liked this black style of music until Tom McDonald started using it and saying everything that I wanted to hear. Y'all notice people trying to make similar music to Tom's like a week or two after? Loves Tom's style and another great meaningful song. Because Tom is a trendsetter and a legend. Well, wasn't that just a kick in the teeth? He's right. The interwebs are not going to like this. This rapper knows the one secret that will take the whole hip-hop industry down. Click here to find out. The last verse was absolutely epic. I do agree with that, Justin. That was the best part of the song. For sure. Check out this comment right here. Putter vids. Damn, man. There's no way I can be convinced that this man isn't another mouthpiece of God much like Jordan Peterson. I do fuck with Jordan Peterson videos. The truth is that, that it comes from him, flows from him like it doesn't seem to be possible for one man. So he is godlike. Listening to Tom is like a sermon. Forget your denomination, people. Any good talk you've heard that you knew was rooted in truth, think of that. Search and destroy, Tom, is equal or better. It's so on point, it's chilling. I'm convinced that something, something divine is communicating through him. All right. Nama2314. This is exactly what I'm talking about right here. Another new favorite. This song sounds like a softer version of Snowflakes. That is my entire fucking point, ladies and gentlemen. Every single song sounds the same. Thank you, Nama. Thank you. I know you didn't mean to make my point for me, but I appreciate you. And then here we have Tippy Ka. Eminem used to be what Tom McDonald is now. Goat status. All right. 